And good morning, Pope Francis. Please stand for prayer and pledge to the flag. Nick Bertelli, you got the prayer. Thanks, AJ. We begin this day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The first week of Advent. Loving God, this week we begin looking ahead with hope to our celebration of the birth of your Son, who came among us as a helpless infant. Show us how to make Advent more than a commercial season of shopping, more than a time to look forward to what we will get. Help us to make this Advent season a time to remember you, a time to give those who have less than we. We pray in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. All right, thanks, Nick. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You can be seated for announcements. And good morning, I'm AJ Gonsalves, and this is your Pope Prep Headlines for today. Today is Wednesday, December 1st, and it is National Pie Day. Each year on December 1st, dessert lovers across the United States enjoy a slice of their favorite on National Pie Day. Pie is so delicious, we celebrate it twice a year. A more popular date is January 23rd. While it might be the lesser of the two celebrated pie days, don't forget National Pie Day on March 14th. It happens to fall smack dab in the middle of a major pie making season. Our quote of the day today, every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. And I'd like to invite up Sarah Salai for an important announcement. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Zalai and I'm here to continue talking about the Special Olympics and its impact on the community. The organization has been around since 1968 and it serves as an outlet for those who face injustice because of intellectual disabilities. The organization provides opportunities for these individuals to participate in various sport, health, and education programs while promoting an environment that supports and uplifts all of its members. Here at Pope Francis, our branch of the Special Olympics looks to continue this attitude of acceptance and bring a greater sense of inclusion to the community. We have led various events, including bowling and trivia chats, to spread love and inclusion to everyone. During this week of inclusion, we hope to reach new heights and promote a greater feeling of justice and happiness among all. And now for a video about Special Olympics. How you got dash, or like a fit you dash, or especially so much more of that. <laughs> special Olympics help you know, the athlete confidence to live on their own, to speak about what they do, just to be themselves, to put the best foot forward. High five, put in. <laughs> A couple of my friends say that once you get into special Olympics, you tend not to leave. To realize how, how such a great organization it is. Like, you think you're helping us, but we're actually helping you. I realize how much of a better pressure you can be. <laughs> if you ever come to a dance, you'll probably never leave because the athletes just go crazy on the dance floor. Once you get hooked on special lists, you tend not to leave for a while. Thank you, Sarah. The Vet Med Club will be meeting today in room 307 from 205 to 240. We'll be setting up our next event, the Christmas Drive for gently used or new pet leashes and or collars. We will discuss the logistics of the drive in our meeting. All are welcome. Please plan on attending to help out the cause. News from the Cooking Club, December 6th. You're going to see Mrs. Peralt by Friday to secure your spot. They're going to be making Christmas reindeer and other Christmas treats. NHS students, they're going to be available each morning from 7.15 to 7.40 a.m., Monday through Friday. Tutoring will take place in the lower level dining area outside the gym. No students other than those looking for academic help are allowed in the area and no food or drink is allowed. Proctors will monitor who attends. If you have any questions, you're going to want to see Ms. Mars or Ms. Nemec. The Yearbook Club today will meet at 2.10 in the Innovation Lab. Pope Francis Prep's Secret Santa is back. Please check your grade level Google Classroom for directions. Make sure to include some of your interests to help your secret Santa. Be on the lookout for decorations about a gingerbread house contest. Start recruiting your family and friends to get your submission ready. Directions are coming soon. Stay tuned. Now we shift over to the sports desk. You want some gift cards to give to friends and family or to buy yourself some lunch and coffee while you're shopping? 
Do you want to just roll out of bed and throw on some comfy clothes during finals week? Do you love basketball? Have school spirit? You're going to want to join us on Thursday night for some games, raffles, and to welcome the boys and girls basketball game. The night starts at 7.45. We hope to see you there. And now, I'd like to send it to the theater. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The finals of the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoe Contest. Guys in the theater, take it away. And we're live. Uh, welcome guys, we're gonna do the, the finals to our Rock, Paper, Scissors Contest. Uh, thank you for those uh, that participated throughout it. I was really happy with the amount of students that we had signed up. We're hopefully gonna do something like this, not Rock, Paper, Scissors, but some sort of competition in the spring of whole school. Uh, to try to get more of you involved and hopefully uh, have some more fun with stuff. So again, this is our finals of Rock, Paper, Scissors. We have our freshman winner, sophomore winner, junior and senior winner. So they'll play and we'll end up with our final ultimate uh, school winner. Uh, so we're going to start off with our freshman and junior battle uh, between our two Emmas. All right, uh, junior Emma one. Um, so round one done. All right, we've got our sophomore senior coming up. We got Kaylee versus Luke for the sophomores and seniors. All right, senior winner, Luke one. We've got the juniors and seniors. Can you feel the drama and tension? Um, all right, so Emma versus Luke, junior, senior. This will be for our final and our overall school winner. All right, for those of you that couldn't see, not sure how wide it is there, uh, Luke was our winner. So the seniors have been victorious in our Rock, Paper, Scissor contest. We'll get Luke a prize. Uh, again, thank you everyone for playing. Thank you for our, our representatives from the other class. Um, and see you in the spring. All right, thank you, Mr. Estabrook and all the finalists. Congratulations, Luke. I'd like to give a very happy birthday to Caitlin Griffin and Patrick Moreau. And today's schedule is D, A, B, C with B period lunch. And that's all, Pope Francis. Have a splendid day.